everyone, it's Doves Animals. Sorry, the Christmas tree is over there. You're going to see that in the corner. So for today, we're going to do two DIYs. You just need two paper towel rolls and two toilet paper rolls. And scissors. Okay, so first things first, make sure they are blank, completely blank. Not like these ones where I still have to tear off some leftover paper, if it'll focus. There we go. Tear off the extra paper on there, kind of like this one where you can see there's absolutely no paper left. Also, just a side note, keep an eye on your pets whenever they're in their cage. If you see that they're chewing on these too much or perhaps chewing where there used to be glue, anything like that seem to be ingesting the cardboard and not the treats that we're going to be putting inside, then remove it and try to make it safer if you can get a new one or just stop putting it in altogether. So with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, I defuzzed these ones, if you will. So for the first project, oh, put one of these aside, you need these three. Okay, so for this one, this is going to be the main base. So what we're going to do is basically attach these here and here and put little treats inside. Also, you may want a pencil for this, but I didn't grab one, so uh, I'm gonna go grab a pencil. <laughs> Pencil has been acquired. This is going to be hard to do one handed, so I'm going to have to do it off camera. So what you want to do first is mark a little circle roughly about how wide this boy is. Because what you're going to do is cut out that there, mark the same marking here, to slide it on. And you're going to want to basically stab it where you make your mark and cut the little circle into it. Like so. Then you're just going to place that bad boy on there roughly. Kind of like so. Time to do the same thing with this one. And there we go, but we're not done yet. So it should look something like that. To help you figure out where you're supposed to cut, I recommend getting your pencil and moving it in there and marking around there so you know about where you should cut. Makes it easier. You can kind of see my markings over here a little bit. There we go. Now you can use a pet safe glue to keep it in place if you would like. Or tape, but definitely watch them with it. Don't leave them in the cage without supervising. <laughs> but just so you can stick that together if you would like. Otherwise, fill it with treats and you're good to go. Just by the way, you can just discard. We don't need those unless you'd like to use them. By all means, please do. Time for the next one. So we're going to put this one aside. Okay, so for this one, we're going to make kind of like a Christmas tree thing. Since it is the holidays, I thought this might be a cute idea. So, what you're going to do is mark little holes around here. Every so often, kind of like that. Same on the other side, and then get some on, if it won't roll. This one's a little lopsided, but on the other sides too. So that there's holes here, holes here, holes here, and so forth. I personally recommend you put, for example, matching holes here and then put these sides up higher and kind of keep that pattern so that the hay that we're going to stuff in this will work better. These are primarily meant for guinea pigs, by the way, um, but you can modify them for hamsters, rabbits, other animals that you may want to use this for. Okay, so with that being said, let's cut into it. Okay, so I made it kind of easier on myself because these scissors aren't very good for small handiwork. So I just kind of stabbed them through. If you do that method, please be careful. <laughs> but I just did that. I'll fix up the edges, but then we're just going to slip hay through the holes and then you're done. So those are my two easy DIYs, mainly for guinea pigs, as I said. But also you can modify them for rabbits, hamsters, gerbils, so on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have fun making this, and I'll see you next time. Bye!